This model specifically is a parameterized model. So what we can do is update this model by changing the variables that have been specified in the Inspire model itself. Once we click on the variables icon, you'll see the variables manager appears in this dialog, which shows us all the different variables associated with the Inspire sketches that are built within this model. So in this model, we have parameterized sketches on both these back plates and these brace sections here. And these are all updated through the variables that have been specified. So if we begin to change these variables to increase the load capacity of this pull-up bar, you'll see the model begins to update. And what this is doing is automatically updating the geometry file as well as the model inside of Hyperworks itself. So you can see my first update has already been changed and I'll go down and just increase the size and dimensions of all the mounting system here to be able to increase the loading. So I'm going to update the whole size so we can put an increased bolt and then the offset from the edge as the current bolt hole location is very close to the edge of the plate we want to bring that in so we can put a washer underneath the bolt head and then increase the, the brace section as well. You see it takes a few seconds there to update the, the model, uh, the geometry model itself, and then to update the model inside of Hyperworks. So what you can see here is the powerful benefit of being able to update that model uh, directly within Hyperworks. If you went back into Inspire and interrogated that Inspire model, you will actually see the exact same thing that you have in Hyperworks. So that's the, the benefit of using a parametric model itself.